welcome to Luca Mavis Closet, I'm Jane. So today's video is another one of my cozy vlogs, so grab a coffee and I shall see you right back here. Hi everyone, welcome back. So if you just found me, and you'd love to follow along with what I do, all well, my sewing projects and pattern designing that I've just recently began, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and that bell, and then you'll get notified of all my videos. So I have cozy vlogs, and I have sewing makes, projects, and all things in between. So a little bit late this week in getting my vlog out because if you follow me on Instagram, and I did pop a little bit of a, a little bit of a note in my community tab here on YouTube, my lovely little husband has had a few more falls since his last big fall where he cracked the back of his head and had a, a, a bleed on the brain since, I think that was about three-ish weeks ago. Since then, he's had another two massive falls. Seriously, he fell the other day about, uh, I think it was Saturday or Sunday. Today is Wednesday. And again, in the bathroom, he seems to have a thing for the bathroom. He fell, hit, went forward, hit his head on the radiator and sliced, sorry it's a bit gory, but sliced all his ear open. Oh my God. So that was nasty, but he wouldn't let me take him to the hospital. He wouldn't let me get him seen or anything. So I had to do like a nurse nightingale on him and uh, luckily it's healed up. Luckily it's healed up nicely. So that was that. So that was awful. Blood everywhere. Graze on his head. So that was Saturday or Sunday. And then early hours of Monday morning. Yep, early hours of Monday morning. He gets up to go to the bathroom again. I got up with him, but for some reason, I and the cats needed feeding, as they do at three o'clock in the morning. So I just followed him to the bathroom and let him go to the loo. I went into the kitchen to feed the cats and crash, bang, wallop. He didn't even get to the loo. I felt absolutely awful. I feel awful. So anyway, runs through and there he is on the floor, pool of blood, cut. Again, the radiator cut all this part of his eye, all split open, blood everywhere and whacked his cheekbone. His face was out here and I thought, oh God, he's fractured his cheekbone. Blood everywhere. So I dialed 999. Unfortunately, they weren't interested because, you know, they ask the questions or they do here in England. Is he breathing? Is he awake? Can he talk? The usual questions. And when they ascertained, yeah, he's breathing, he can talk, he's awake. They then transferred me to like secondary, secondary emergency call. So anyway, I managed to get it. I had to take him in myself at quarter past four in the morning over to, it's called like the, it's it's like, a, it's not quite A and E. It's the, bit, the section down so if you've cut your really badly cut your finger or you've sprained your ankle and it's not quite accident and emergency we've got another like another department so I had to take him there at quarter past four in the morning but as soon as the nurse saw him there she and he was a little bit confused she said no he's gonna have to go to A and E so the guys from A and E came and got him and went to A and E anyway four hours later x-ray and everything luckily he hadn't fractured his cheekbone because even the consultant who came and had a look at him thought he had but he hadn't just uh, had to have super glue. It's amazing that glue. Absolutely amazing. No more stitches. He had to have super glue on there. S said his face would go, it would obviously would go down. He weren't, they weren't concerned for his head, impact on his head, because he seemed, you know, seemed okay. So four hours later, we managed to get home. So that was early hours of, I don't even know what day it is, to be fair. Is it Wednesday? Yeah, it's Wednesday today. So it was the early hours of, Oh, it was early hours of Tuesday, it was yesterday. See, I don't know well, I, I feel like I've got jet lag. So obviously I didn't get any, hardly any sleep and I didn't sleep and obviously John came home and he went to bed and all day I didn't, I just carried on. And so now I don't know where I'm coming or going. So, but thankfully he's on the mend and I just feel awful because I'm also obviously his wife, but I'm also his carer. And I said to him, God, I'm a crap carer, seriously. Uh, they'll, be, they'll be sending people around saying, well, she's rubbish, let's get you a proper carer in. So I just felt so like guilty because obviously I should have I should have went with him to the loo, made sure he got on the loo. So from now on, new set of rules, I will go with him to the loo, make sure he's on the loo. Obviously leave him until he's 
whatever not too much information here leave him and then obviously when he wants to and he's finished i'll go and get him and make sure he gets off the loo and gets back on his he's got like a walking frame so that was yeah yesterday so he's all not pretty to look at but the, that glue is amazing so he's, he's, he's got no stitches to look at it's just like a line a red line on his head which is much better than having great big stitches and staples and things like they used to do so that was yesterday so of course i'm all out of sync like i say i feel a little bit jet lagged i don't know i'm coming and going so this could be a load of gibberish <laughs> this vlog so and all of those of you have like asked asked after john um he, yeah thank you so much he, he really does appreciate it when you ask after him and i tell him and um yeah so i will tell him that you've been asking after him again and uh, hopefully this is the last fall he's going to have and he's just had a letter actually saying that he's now classed as as extremely clinically vulnerable so i'm gonna to have to be extremely clinically on the ball with him as a carer seriously so i've asked that seriously too many times there but yeah you know what i mean so that was john and that was the shenanigans going on in the middle of the night you should have seen it, it was off because i couldn't get him up either he was wedged by the radiator and i just could not it took me ages to get him up and i thought if i can't get you up i'm gonna to have to ring my son tom and seriously if he had cameras in our house we could seriously do a reality tv show It'd be absolutely entertaining it, it really would be entertaining viewing that's for sure jane and john's shenanigans here and also my little cat geordie he's been absolutely fine since that little moment he had i don't know what that was i still think about it every day thinking what was it what caused it you know but he's been absolutely fine since so there's now calm has resumed here at loopy mabel headquarters so moving on to sewing i haven't done a single item of sewing for myself i've made two poppy pinafores and one olive blouse so but that's not class that i mean that's sewing but that's not sewing for me i haven't done any sewing for me so i'm hoping to get back into my own sewing routine very soon but one of the reasons why another reasons why i haven't got any sewing done for myself is i've been working so so hard on the poppy pinafore pattern so for those of you who've, who've just found me and you don't know what I'm talking about, I have just literally gone down a few months ago, decided that I love to draft my own designs and I've had so much feedback saying, could you make them into a pattern? And I just thought, well, yeah, I'd love to do that. So I'm going down that route at the moment. I'm absolutely loving it. But my goodness, it is hard, hard, hard. It's so hard. It's harder than I ever even contemplated. It's not hard as in... Well, yeah, it is. I said this last time, didn't I? Yeah, it is. It's just like technically hard and there's so much involved. It's so in-depth. It's not just a matter of drafting a, drafting a pattern and then making it into a pattern. No, no, no. Oh, oh, Jane. I, had, I have so much to learn. Baptism of fire, that is for sure. That's just typical of me, though. I always set myself out to do things and I didn't do enough or I didn't do enough research at all into it. I just seriously thought, draft your pattern, make it into a PDF, make sure it prints okay, and off it goes. No, <laughs> there's not there's lots lots more involved in that. So I have I've calculated my hours since I started on it and I must be up to nearly 200 hours of working on it. Now, that's probably because I've learned everything from scratch all by myself. So I've researched, I've looked up, I've Googled, I've read, I've watched tutorials. I have done everything I could do, soaked it all up. And obviously it's all a learning curve. So because I had no one over my shoulder telling me, you know, you should do this, you should do that. That's the wrong way, that's the right way. This is a quicker way. Obviously it's took me so much longer. But when I go on to do my second pattern, I will be obviously a lot quicker and I've got, I've built up some templates, I've built up some like, like settings on my software that I use and I won't have to do all that again. So when I come to do my second one down the line, I'm telling you, but when I come to do that one, it will be hopefully, fingers crossed, a whole lot easier and a whole lot quicker and I'll be a bit more confident in myself and just be able to hopefully do it much easier. Throughout this time I've been doing it, I have had days where I've just spent seven hours, say non-stop seven hours on and off in between drinking cups of coffee and felt like I've just been swimming in mud, 
seriously some days i've just said to john i can't do it i can't do it it's just it's too complex it's too complicated i can't do it i didn't realize i was totally overwhelmed at some points totally overwhelmed but i didn't give up because that's not that's not in my nature i can't give up on a project no matter what i start I, it's got to be finished whether i like it at the end or not and whether it's a success at the end or not that doesn't matter i have to complete anything i start i don't have any works in progress I'm, that's just not me because that would really annoy me and stress me out probably so i thought and i'm not going to give up and john's always been there saying keep going get back in there and keep going keep going keep going anyway so i'm almost at the end i can see that chink of light at the end of that tunnel seriously so i've if you do follow me on instagram you've probably seen that i've been asking for testers to join my testing pool and then hopefully whenever I have a pattern to test I've got a, you know a selection of ladies on that testing pool and then I'll see I can select from there so it's not too late if you fancy having to go testing some of my patterns when they do come out please uh, if you go over to loopymabel.com there's a full page on pattern testing loopymabel.com full page on pattern testing you just read all the questions and answers all the information and if you think it's something for you and you'd like to join along with me I'd love to welcome you just hit the subscribe button at the bottom uh, the join button at the bottom and it will take you into the pattern testing pool and then as soon as i've got anything out you will all be notified and then we we'll go from there so the poppy pinny for is literally seconds away from going out into the testing pool and i'll show you i've printed it off here it is this is obviously the a4 us letter print at home so i'm gonna to have to stand up and show you there it is it's not the biggest of patterns but there it is so all the sizes so from small medium large extra large to extra large this is a a4 us letter obviously pdf print at home absolutely thrilled to bits i said i said john said to me you see from little acorns grow great great oak trees and yeah I feel as if I've, I've I feel as if I've got there in the end so like I say that chink of light is just there it's just there so obviously that is I've also got it on a or as well copy shop print for all of you for all for everybody that doesn't like sticking together and what have you so I've got the a4 us letter and the a or copy shop print so now I just need to um finalize the instructions the information document and that's it i'm just about good to go so yeah like i say 200 hours worth of work Whew, little did i know but i've learned so much so i think in a way it's given me a boost really because i feel quite chuffed with myself and uh it was hard i did like i say i did feel like i was i couldn't do it I was overwhelmed yeah no i got i got through got through it in the end i think hopefully let's just see because it's got to go obviously to the pattern testers now so with the pattern testing what i'm hoping to do obviously i can't have, i think there's over i think there's up to 100 people now in the testing pool which is absolutely amazing but i'm just going to let the testing pool grow because obviously people will come people will go people not everybody will want to test a particular pattern so um so i'm just going to leave it as it is i'm not going to like close it to close it or anything and then as i come to obviously get this one out for testing i will send everybody that's on the list um a little form and i just need to know what your size is because obviously your sizes could change as well throughout the you know throughout the years to come so i'm not going to like regiment people to sizes i'm going to do like ask you ask you what your size is every pattern testing so because you, you could be thinner you could be bigger you know things like that so i will ask you your size obviously your sewing skills and all those little bits of information and hopefully if i get enough of people who are interested in this particular pattern i will then hopefully select two pattern testers for each size two three don't be like over too many obviously i can't choose everybody because it's got i've got to be able to maintain it and manage obviously the feedback and obviously that everything that goes with the pattern testing as i bring other patterns out it may be something that somebody doesn't particularly want to test and there may be other people that do want to test it and you think you know things like that so, so i'm hoping it'll go fairly smoothly like that and everybody will get a chance to test but yeah so that's the pat so that will be the pattern testing process so that's going to happen anytime soon so watch out for that so excited nervous too but so excited i think i think i've got it spot on but we'll soon see won't we 
So that's what I've been doing on that. So that's probably one of the reasons, what's well, the main reason why I haven't been able to do any sewing for myself. But that's all going to change soon because as soon as this goes to the pattern testing section, it will give me three weeks of no pattern designing. So that'll give me three weeks of doing things I want to do for a change. So I've got my next blog post, blog make for the sewing directory. So stay tuned for that. I'll be probably working on that next week. And then I want to do the sew along like I promised for the Oak Ridge shirt. And I'll just show you again, just to remind you if you don't know which one I'm talking about. It's the Oak Ridge shirt by Sewaholic Patterns. I think I've made five or six of them now. It's like the pussy bow shirt, but quite a fitted shirt with sleeves and cuffs and buttons down the front and this lovely bow tie and I just love it because it's great on its own it's great to layer under poppy pinny for it's great to layer under little knitted granddad vests you'll have seen if you follow me on Instagram you'll have seen me wear it with all types of different outfit styles so I wanted to do another one of them but I did promise I was going to do it in a so long because quite a few of you asked if I would so I'm going to do another one and I'm going to do it in this gorgeous white what well, is like antique white like a dobby, cotton dobby, which I got from Felicity Fabrics last year. And hopefully you can see it's got that gorgeous texture. And I thought I'd make it in that because I do not have a white blouse in my wardrobe at all, apart from that lacy one that I've been wearing, which was a ready to wear one. And it is starting to, starting to look a little bit tired because obviously I've been wearing it quite a lot. So I thought I'd make myself an awkward blouse in that. So that's what I'm going to be doing my sew along in that. So stay tuned for that. I, it is coming, I promise. As soon as I've got this pattern testing underway, then as I say, it'll give me like a bit of free, a free a bit of free time to concentrate on that. So that will be coming as well. And then moving on to my airline skirt that I drafted. That was in my last cozy vlog. And I was asking you, what do you think of the name? Had to begin with the letter S. Thank you so much for all the comments. And um, yes, yeah, so the Sadie skirt, the popular, popular choices were the Sadie skirt that I said. And then quite a few of you said Sarah, Sybil and Sylvie. But the majority of you also agreed with me for the Sadie skirt. So I am going to call the airline skirt. I'll pop some pictures of probably wearing it. The Sadie skirt. And this, I think, is going to be my next pattern that I'm going to bring out so that's I'm pleased about that so say hello to the Sadie skirt so I made that in the uh, gabardine so I'm going to make it in some nice linen because obviously I need to do research into what type of fabrics medium a medium weight fabric but you probably could get away with a lighter weight one and I've just got a great big pile of corduroy baby corduroy which I do like working with and I got 12 meters quite a lot because I want obviously to make the skirt in this and then I'm going to be adding the skirt to my custom made clothing collection so I'll be making them too in this so I got this gorgeous color it's like a parchment I would say parchment cream See if I can open it up to show you the actual colour, because that's the back that you're looking at. So much of it, as I say, there's 12 metres. I need, to, I need to get it rolled up as well. So it's really nice, stony parchment colour, which I thought was quite a nice colour for a skirt. So that's in the fine baby card. So obviously I'm going to make another of the Sadie skirt in that. And I've also got some linen that I'm going to make it in too and then obviously I'll be doing all the sizes and adding them to my shop too. Obviously it's going to come in the pattern too so I'm going to run alongside each other items that I've made for all of those of you who don't do don't sew or haven't got time to sew or just you know don't want to sew I'm having them available so you can just buy them from my shop and the pattern for all you lovely people who love to make your own clothes so i'm hoping i'm covering for like everybody by doing it this way and also i love to do the sewing part so i love making stuff and posting them out in the post absolutely love that get I really do get a great sense of achievement when i do that so it's 
you know, good for me and it's hopefully good for you too. So that's the card. I'm going to have to get that rolled up because it's a little bit unwieldy, 12 metres of it. And in the linen, I fancy making it in and these will be added to the shop too. And I managed to get this ready rolled so a lot easier for me to manage. So that colour, then I've got this gorgeous dusky blue. So that's in like a duck eggy blue, I would say. Maybe not, yeah, like grey blue, you know, like a grey blue, dusky blue. And in this rose colour as well. So these three I'm going to be using as well with the baby card to make some Sadie skirts in the custom made section. And also I'll be using it as well for the poppy pinafore for more like a summer, summer weight type of pinafore in the linen. So it's going to be used throughout different things in my shop. But they're those three that I've got. So I'll try and lift them all up together so you can see them. So there they all are together. So nice selection there, nice good colours to put in your wardrobe as well. So that's the linens and that baby card. So that is that and final thing I've got to tell you about is if you do watch follow me on Instagram you've probably seen my giveaway that I posted on my grid the other day. I've been working with the lovely ladies from Pattern Trace and they asked if I would like to test out one of their newest products and I said of course I would love to test out one of your newest products and they said would I like to do a giveaway as well so I'll show you what I'll show you just put that down so I'll show you what the product is genius quite clever it's a storage box compartments in it and the idea is I mean obviously you can use it for all sorts but the idea behind it was to store your sewing machine needles now if you're anything like me my sewing machine needles are in one little pull out drawer and they're all mixed in together so I always have to rummage through to find maybe the one for jeans or the one for jersey or fine needle point or things like that and then also I'm terrible for putting my needles back into the packet that they came from after I've finished using them. So I have a load of needles in the bottom of that pull-out drawer that I haven't got a clue what for. So this little compartment is obviously to pop your needles in each compartment. And there's a little sticky, I don't know whether you can see it, yeah, the little sticky, like a Velcro sticky dot. And it'll hold your needle that you've took out of your machine and you can put it in the section that it belongs to and obviously if you need to then put it back in your machine you've got it there you know that's the one that you've just been using genius idea and also you get with the box you get some sticky labels with all the needle sizes and obviously you can stick in your compartments or you could stick it on the lid or inside the lid wherever you want so it's got all the size needles and the names of the needles so that came comes with it and just thought absolute genius idea so I've got a few of mine in there I haven't had time to put the, even put the labels on it yet but they said would I like to use it as a giveaway so there's three of these I am lucky to be able to offer to three of my followers over on Instagram so it runs out the competition the giveaway runs out on Sunday, six o'clock UK time eight, six o'clock in the evening 1800 hours UK time on the 7th of March so pop on over to my Instagram account. You need to follow me, follow Pattern Trace, and then just follow what it says in the grid. You'll see the post because it's got this on the post. And then you could be lucky enough to win one of these. It is only open to UK, UK um, postage, I'm afraid, because obviously pa Pattern Trace are going to send these out and obviously shipping international would, would be quite expensive. But, but saying that, and if you're watching from the US and you think, oh, that's, you know, I can't join the giveaway, you can still get these with my 10% discount Loopy Mabel 10 and I'll pop that in the box below as well. So, so if you fancy one for yourself or two or three, then you can use my code Loopy Mabel 10 at Pattern Trace and you can use that code throughout their store. It's not just for this product. So it's a good little save in there. It's quite a cute little box as well because I can see me putting my bobbins in there as well as needles little compartment for my bobbins maybe my white ones I like to I like to do a bunch of white bobbins so they're ready to go so a little compartment for that maybe I don't know I think it's quite a clever little storage box so there you go so if you fancy having a go at winning one and you're in the UK pop over to my Instagram account I'll pop the link for that as well in the box below 
and I think that's it. All the shenanigans be, that's been going on here behind closed doors at Loopy Mabel headquarters. Always something going on, never a day, never, never a dull day, that is for sure. And I've got so much to keep me busy. So, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, thumbs up would be lovely. And don't forget to subscribe if you fancy follow along with me too. And uh, I shall see you hopefully on my next vlog, which will be a sewing vlog or a sewing makes vlog. And, I'm, and I will be bringing the sew along too. So yeah, so hope you had a chance to drink your coffee because obviously I didn't again, so I'll drink it now. And until the next time, thanks for joining me. Please take care, stay safe and as always, happy, happy sewing.